One of the things that we're seeing out here in the world of calipers are the inlet threads on certain European cars get cross-threaded and the inlets get ruined because of a, a simple process that's not being followed when reinstalling the new or remanufactured caliper. I'm pointing right here at the inlet threads and um, a hard line is used to transfer the brake fluid from a flexible hose to a hard line and then the hard line isn't aligned properly and, and folks are trying to thread it in and can't and there's a simple technique to do so you won't have this issue. This hard line here that I'm pointing at is the one that where the inlet threads get ruined on the caliper. So I'm going to do a basic remove the caliper and show you how to reinstall it so you don't ruin the threads. First thing I'm going to do is remove the old brake tabs. Okay, the next thing we have to do is we have to loosen the, inlet, the hard inlet line. And, and the, you always use a line wrench first. This is a line wrench where it wraps around the tube nut on the hard line. And why is that? It grabs it so it doesn't, so your regular open end wrench doesn't slip off the little nut and round the edges of the hacks. Once the hex edges are ruined, you might have to resort to a vice grip, and we don't want to do that. We want to save it. So I, I broke it loose. So now that it's broken loose, you don't have to use this line wrench anymore. You can switch to your regular open end wrench. So, so loosen all these up. Plus, it's slightly misaligned. Which would make it hard or difficult to read to uh, install it. So now it's too easy. Okay, that is it. <laughs> Almost done. Okay, it's completely out, out, out now, the hole. You can see the line's completely loose. So now I can oh, take out these two bolts that hold the caliper onto the spindle. <laughs> there we go. Caliper's removed. We're ready for a newly remanufactured caliper or new caliper. You want to take out the protection plug from the threads. There it is. You should always inspect these threads too to make sure they're in great shape. And these ones are in great shape. If there were, uh, is there, if there is a problem with them, they're chased with a thread chaser, not a tap, because a tap cuts material away. You want to use a thread chaser. So it reforms the threads. Okay, so now the first thing that we do when we, we reinstall this caliper is to thread the hard line into here. Do not put these bolts in and tighten it down because there will be a misalignment on the hard line to the inlet. It won't be 90 degrees or exactly perpendicular to the same axis. So it's not that hard. So what we do is we stick it on here and then we just get it started. There it goes. So you wiggle it a little bit and get started. Then we can use this to help us get, get it going. So now, we're, now we're, we've got this rolling. This is threading in now. But then you can take the mounting bolts and secure it to the spindle. I'm going to use our <laughs> air gun to tighten them up, but I'm not going to go full blast. I'm just going to use it. And then I'll 
office, tightening the inlet. All the way. Okay, here we are. I'm at the end. There, it's seated. Now I'll take my line wrench that wraps completely around the tube nut and I can give it the final tightening. Now, some people may think there's a torque spec for this. Um, I actually don't know it, and you'd learn it by feel. If there is a torque spec, I've never seen it. So that's it. And sometimes what you can do is you can loosen it and tighten it, loosen it, and give it a final tighten, and that's it. The next thing to do would be to torque these two bolts to the factory torque spec. Okay, and we're done.